Welcome back everybody, it's your favorite cow. So, Jay Dilla, your favorite hip hop producers, favorite hip hop producer. Renowned for his wonky, groovy drum programming, as well as his smooth, soulful approach to sampling. I've learned so much by listening to his beats on repeat over the years. So today, I'm gonna show you a quick sampling tip I learned by listening to Dilla. Let's get into it. All right, so we got a four bar loop here. So let's just check that out by itself. So most producers would just leave it as is. That's not what Dilla would do. So let's check out what he would do now. So what you're going to do is create cuts for each beat in the loop, which also coincides with each drum hit. And then you're going to rearrange the cuts across the loop. So for example, let's just take the first bar. I want beat four to also be beat two. And the second bar I'll leave as is. And for the third bar, I kind of want the first bar to repeat. So we just copy and paste that. And for the fourth bar, I would like beat four to also be the beat four in the second bar. So let's just see how that sounds right now. So that's way more interesting than we had originally. So now all you have to do is just add in some drums and you got yourself a Dilla-esque beat. Notice how my drums aren't quantized. I honestly just performed them live and then just left them as is, like Dilla would do. Also notice how because the chops were made in accordance to the drum hits instead of something else like a chord change or a melody change, the beat feels way more connected to the drums. Whenever there is a snare hit in my drums, there's also a sample switch, which keeps the beat interesting despite it being a loop. There are honestly endless possibilities with this technique and it's just one of many ways that Dilla approaches sampling in his beats. And he's by no means the only person or the first person to utilize this technique. He just happens to be the one that I learned it from by listening to him. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what other producers you would like me to cover. And if you find this video interesting, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and listen to my brand new EP, Bovine, out on all streaming platforms. Link in the description. With that being said, happy beat making, and I'll see you guys next time. Moo moo. Oh.